Prior to placing sprinklers, you must select the desired nozzle and possibly change the characteristics or settings for the sprinkler. You can open the sprinkler placement command from the irrigation menu or from the toolbar icon. To locate the desired nozzle for placement on the design, you must first select the manufacturer from the drop-down menu. Click on the down arrow and then click on the manufacturer of your choice. Next, you can select a category of sprinklers. Click on the Categories drop-down menu to view the available selections. Sprinklers are divided into categories to filter the nozzle selections even more and to allow you to designate a symbol and body assignment to nozzles. As you can see, most manufacturers have an abundance of nozzle selections in each category. You may or may not require all of these different nozzles during a design. To further filter the selection of the nozzles, you can hide nozzles that you do not use on a regular basis. This makes locating the nozzles you regularly use much quicker and easier. To hide nozzles you don't use on a regular basis, click on the checkbox to the left of the nozzle description to remove the checkmark. Suppose we don't want to use any of the 10 series nozzles on a regular basis. We can click on the checkboxes to remove the nozzles from the selections. Now, if we click on the Filter Type drop-down and select Show Only Checked Sprinklers, the 10 series nozzles are removed from the list. If we're designing a system and find we need a 10 series nozzle, we can click on the Show All Sprinklers selection from the Filter Type drop-down menu, and the 10 series are available for placement on the design screen. Clicking on the Show Only Checked Sprinkler selection will hide the nozzles once again. You do not have to go through this process each time you start the program. These settings will remain intact until you change them. This makes sprinkler selection a much faster and easier process.